Wait a minute. And God told him to stand still. Can y'all see that thing in the house today? What God is speaking about? Because you got the Red Sea behind. You have no other way how you're going to get out of what you're doing. There's no other way. The, the, the Red Sea is behind. And God told you to stand still. See, you, God's not just talking about your position. He's talking about your attitude. Because surely enough, their backs to up against the wall. But understand that God is a way maker. He'll make a way out of no way. So sure, they believe what the Lord God is saying. Then I'm not preaching to somebody. I told you to exit. I told you. 
going to see you today. Uh -huh. I don't know you, but it's 831. I believe that I'm going to see him today. Yeah. Yeah. It's 831. I'm holding him to all of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, wait a minute. I don't just be speaking words. I'm not the limit. I don't know about you, but I don't just be speaking things just to, to tickle your fancy. I speak things because I'm like, Lord, the Lord holds me accountable for this. So I'm saying, 831, I got to. I'm look out. Red Sea, Lord. I got, I'm, I'm going to see your salvation. I'm going to stand. I'm not going to compromise. You told me that you were going to get me through this. You told me that Pharaoh was not going to take me out. You told me that you told me to leave. You told me to exit. You told me to take the path. You told me to take the job. You told me to take the chance. You told me to put my name down. You told me that, God. And because you told me that, then surely enough you must have said that I believe in you.
He's trying to let you know, take a stand that you know what, yes. that you won't compromise. Yes. Yes. You're not gonna fall for the enemy thing. But when he opened it, go for it. Yes. Yes. Don't just be well. He told me to stand still. You see, that's us. You gotta have to we start reading your word, get more intense in your word. Because I, I've been there myself. The Lord God keep going, no, I heard stand still. See this I'm set. At that moment, stand. That means your mindset. Get your attitude that God's gonna be able to deliver you. And when he does, then go forward. Can you imagine if he told Moses to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord God? God will fight for you. And he does all that. The Red Sea open and what you doing? I'm standing still. Yeah, that may seem strange, but many of us Christians right. are walking right. like just yes. right there. Yes. God yes. opened up the red. He opened it. When he opened it, go. Lord, yes. That's a plain language definition. When he opens it, go through it. Go through it. Because it wasn't there before. It wasn't open before. See, we're people of God. We get we get caught up in words. And, and when you don't study it all, that's why I say you got to study and read your words. That way you can recognize your daddy's voice. Because at each time, in both of these passages, that these uh, situations that took place with, with Moses and the children of Israel, as well as with Jehoshaphat and the people, God told them to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord God. And then he tells them to do something and go forward. Do you realize that they both had people coming up against them? But do you realize that they both had different requirements? Because Jehoshaphat began to get the praises together. Yes. Yeah. Jehoshaphat said, well, we're going to get these tambourines. Where are the horns at? We're going to show fire. We're going to... They start, Jehoshaphat started getting the praises together. See, Moses with the Red Sea open, go through it. Because understand that in both of these, if you don't get anything else, in both of these situations, God gave them victory in yes. both of them. That means whatever they used to see that was coming up against them, they will not ever see them again. They will not ever because in the Red Sea, Pharaoh's army got drowned. And Jehoshaphat bowed. If you read that in second. Look 
in the promised land where the grapes are big and fat and the land fall with milk and honey. Hallelujah, how sweet it is. Ooh, how sweet it is in the name of Jesus. Yes, now when you need two people to help you carry what you got. Oh, I don't know about you, but I, I, that's one that, that's one blessing I don't mind having. You know what? You're like, well, I can do it by. No, no, no. I want something big enough. We need the whole, we need KTKMC, the yes, whole ministry. Yes, 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 to carry. Yes, 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 We need the whole ministry yes, to help care. See, yes, that's the kind of blessing. Yes, when we all work together, let's yes, carry yes, the blessing. We're not talking about no bad load. We're talking about some good stuff. Now, come on up in here. I'm going to call only about 10, 20 people. And when y'all can get a chance, we're going to carry this miracle that we got this financial blessing. Come on, let's get up in here. Wiles or tricks. Right Since when you, I mean, you can't stand against the spirit. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
And if you gotta go back to the threshing floor, then go back. Yes. And she's like, Lord God, I've been thinking about it. I thought it was right here. No, no, no. Wrong order, sons and daughters. Yeah. If this is where it birthed, then the Lord God said, I didn't give it to you. Because if I gave it to you, it's gonna be when nobody else was talking, when you were like, I'm yeah. thinking. And it was all of a sudden that it came up, you know, like, yeah. And it, you, you get the order? It won't go here and go, oh, I think, no, it goes here. And all of a sudden, when you begin to get it up there, maybe I can do that. Maybe I can. Maybe. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, when you do it, you're like, and it works. Yeah. <laughs> and you know yes, that's a God idea. Yes, because this right here is things, just man-made riches. Yes, yes. This right here gives you earthly and heavenly treasures right here. Yes, oh, my Lord. My God. That's a whole nother message. I'm going to ask that if, as you're going to stand still, I'm going to ask that you stand on your feet this afternoon in the name of Jesus. God's asking you to stand because some of you right now are understanding that the Red Sea may have been behind you, but God is telling you to stay focused. Stay focused because take your stand for the Lord God. This battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. The stand that you are taking tonight tonight and today. The Lord God is saying it's not a man-made stand. It is a stand that you're being led by the Holy Spirit. You are taking your position. I'm believing that as we're standing, we're about to open up this altar. I'm asking with every head bowed and every eye closed if the Lord God is ministering to you about your position and you're saying, Lord God, I I'm, I'm going to take my stand. I'm going to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord God. It's a personal message. Head bowed and eyes closed. No one can make the decision for you. If that's what you are believing God's calling for you to do, then get that hand up. Stand still. And those of you who have the Red Sea, I'm going to say it again. You have things that are coming up against you right up in your face. And you have no other recourse. If that's you, that hand should have been up there before anything else. You're like, Lord, I have no other option. I'm having to stand. And stand there for, come on, come on, all over the house, all over the house. Even those that are watching, build an altar in the name of Jesus. Father God, as I'm praying right now for every individual that has their hand up, that Lord God, that they're saying, I I'm going to stand. I'm going to take my position and I'm going to stand still. I'm going to take my position because I know that Lord God, you're going to fight for me. This battle is not mine, but it's yours. Lord God, I'm asking as a Holy Spirit minister to these kings and queens this afternoon that they're saying, Lord God, they're taking a stand for you, God. That, Lord God, stand for holiness, a stand for righteousness, a stand in the name of Jesus. That's their position is they're taking a stance and saying, Lord God, I will not bow in this season. I will not allow the pharaohs to run over me. That, Lord God, I'm going to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord take place all over me and all over my children and everything that God that you have put in my possession in the name of Jesus. And we seal it now. We say amen. Amen, amen. amen. Come on, give God some glory.